How are we doing all people? I hope you all had a nice Easter, had a nice little break off. Sorry, it hasn't been an upload for like six days or whatever it is. Just had some time off to chill and whatnot. So I'm gonna try and do more daily blog, uh, vlogs now. I am on late, which makes it a bit harder, but I bought my laptop and everything with me so I can hopefully sort of upload it um, the same day. So this is just a 2014 DAF CF 85 with an MX-13 engine. It's done 1,296,553 miles. So it's, it's, it's done a fair bit of miles. So this is MOT. Uh, we're going to go through what we have what we find. We're going to go through some defects. We've got to do um, more tappets on it since so it's different to the other one. Uh, we're going to do all that. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're still enjoying all the content. And uh, I'll see you soon. First defect found, not an MOT, but dash lights aren't working. We'll go through how to do them. So there's our first little defect we found. Also today, uh, I've got a, another 64 plate that I need to have a look at. But I had a brief look on what, Thursday when we were off. Um, it's got a humongous oil leak. It is everywhere. So. Uh, it looked like the rocket cover in the very breather part was leaking because it had been cable tied, so I have to have a look at that as well. But while I'm here, I'm going to check the brake pedals, check the taco, check the speed limiter, check date, every four of the dates, we'll check the suspension, make sure that it's up and down, seat belt, seat, the usual. So let's get cracking on. There you go, one of our jobs we've got to do today sump gasket. Absolutely peeing it out of the sump. Also, prop centre bearing. So, we've got plenty to film today. We uh, let's get cracking on inspecting the rest of it, and then we're going to be doing that. So, with anything like this, when we do the sump, we're going to have to drain it, which is the so 8mm hex key socket. So, let's get it drained, and I'll show you how we're going to balance these the actual stands on the front to get the sump out because it won't just come out because the axle's in the way. So let's get a drain first and then uh, we'll go from there. Extension we've got down here, and we're going to drop the axle down so the axle will come down or that will stay up. So I'll leave a gap here, 
and it'll drop down enough to get the sun out. So I'll keep this recording for now. Try back down there, let any more drip on it. We're going to clean all that up. Uh, we're going to clean all the axle up. We're going to clean everything, so we'll put a new gasket on. So, with anything like this, we need to clean it out properly, really. for any few bits of whatever that is. So yeah, we're going to clean it all out anyway. Um, ready for the new gasket to come on because there's no point putting it on. Just go and we're going to get some rag. So yeah, there's no point if it's dirty. Let me know in the comments if you don't want to know what you think to do. I think personally, they're not a bad job whatsoever. Um, just be careful of these bolts so they come out. Um, but other than that, it's not a bad job to do. They're quite common in these four some gaskets we've done a fair few. So let's have a chit chat, let's get it all cleaned out and ready for a new one. Filthy. So we need to clean the inside of it now. Uh, I've got the brake cleaner and the airline works quite well. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to clean all this out from here. May take over to jet wash and do that a little bit, but most of the oil on the outside is gone. So let's get this out a little bit clean. And then we will put the new sun vest on. So I think this is probably need the satisfying bit of the job can be and look at the nice clean sub that you've just spent your time cleaning so let's get it all cleaned and let's put it back on so we've got that cleaned out uh, yeah a lot lot better just going to clean all the gaps where the gasket goes uh, we're going to fit a new gasket. This is our part number for the gasket, so it's 1853603. We're going to get that fitted. Going to clean up around the block at the bottom as well, make sure that's all clean for our new ones to go up. Um, but yeah, let me know if you've done one of these before. Drop down in the comments and let me know. I don't think it's a bad job really. It's just uh, probably you might need a hand putting it up with someone just to line it all up and everything. But other than that, it's not a bad job. Uh, next weekend which is the weekend of 29th 28th 20 no 29th 30th whatever it is uh i'll be in peterborough for the truck fest i'm gonna be going there so if you are there give me a drop a comment below and let me know uh it'll be good to meet some people on here as well i'm just gonna be pooping around i might do a video i'm not sure yet uh so yeah anyway let's get this cleaned up a bit, a bit more get the gasket on and let's get the sump back on Right, so I found out how you're going to know. If you look here, there's like a lug, and then that drops in there, and then you should line up. There's two sides of this gasket. There's a thin, and then there's a thicker side. So, sorry, it's quite a thin one. 
so when we're uploading now there's also other logs on here as well I hope you can hear me alright so, if you look here, there's one lug there, and then there's one lug here. So yeah, we've got the gas on, just going to clean the last little bit up, and then we can put it on. Right, we'll have to clean it up. I'm just going to re-clean it again, just to make sure all the surfaces are clean. So yeah, like I said earlier, if anyone is going to truck fest, please let me know. Uh, if we've got a truck there or whatever, and let me know if you're good to meet some people, have a tune for me. Obviously I'm not going to drive. So, yeah, we're going to get this really cleaned up, and um, then we'll get the sump back on. Alright, let's put this sump on. So I'll have to do it myself. How are you? There is a torque sequence to this. Let's go. Because we like to do everything right on this channel, here is the sequence for torquing it. 30 newton meters we're gonna to torque it to. So I'm gonna time lapse this, we'll get torqued up, I just put my hat back on and uh, yeah, let's get this done. So now that's torqued into sequence, all I'll do now is just quickly run around the torque again, make sure I haven't missed any. And yeah, I'm going to do that off camera, get them all really torqued, plug in the all level sensor, don't forget that. Get this jack out of the way, okay, underneath. Yeah. Right. So, as anything you should do with sump, what should be the next thing after? Fill it with oil. So 10W40, I think it's 1040, 1030, I can't remember which one it is. Um, 45 litres in this one, it's an MX13. So our next job is these heater panel lights. So let's have a go at doing them. There's our lights. So what I normally do is, I'm gonna use this. Right, so Put your hand down the back and there's a top one first you should be able to feel a wire coming out there is our bulb so let me go and get a bulb and i'll show you the rest so these are 508 bulbs just gonna cling that out of there and then it's hard 100 hang on there's our bulb i've dropped another one down there somewhere so easy with this one your finger in, feel where the hole is at the top, and then somewhere is where is it? There, mate. I made this sound easy, didn't I? Oh, there's that. So, there's one. So, the other one is down the bottom here somewhere. So that is a little bit more fiddly. Um, let me just see if oh, I can show you. Oh. So give me two seconds. Right, I'm going to show you if I can. It is. I don't know if you can see it. 
Down there somewhere. <laughs> so, let's get the next one out. There is our next one. This one is fiddly. Proper, proper fiddly. Uh, right, hang on. Let me just turn that little kitty around. So, right there. Oh, no. The last one is the ping. There's a little... Uh, so we should feel that out of the way. See, I want to do like... I mean, can and that's the panel. Right, where's our little light gun? Come here, you little sausage. Yeet. No. <sighs> Told you, this is a little. No. Fucking hell. Give up. We shall not. How's that bloody hole? Oh, is that in there? Come on. In there. No. No. Right, hang on. Right. Right there. <laughs> well, I think I found it. I think. Come on. Right there. Oh. There we go. Look at that. You can get them out the other ones into any spaces. Into into that. You'll get them in any hole. So we're going to put all this back together but yeah i probably made a massive meal out of that but there you go it's all about learning if someone knows a better way please drop down in the comments and let me know because that's what we're all about on this channel helping each other out okay so that's that, that goes there so that's that done. Prop we're going to do tomorrow. So I'm going to stick our panel back on and then I'm going to end this video. No one can say that I'll do these videos and it's all easy peasy. That should have been an easy job. That first one was all right. The second one, fiddly. But there you go. That's what it's all about. We, uh, we don't all have it perfect, we all struggle now and again. And uh, yeah, some little thing like that can be a bit of a pain, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Obviously, I didn't really do much of the MOT prep because well, I've done it before, it's just a day in the life today. Um, obviously, we did a little bit in the, in the cab and I did what I needed to do. And then we went underneath and saw the big, massive oil leak. So we did that, we did the sump, did all the cleaning out process, the talking it all up and everything like that. Then we did our heater panel lights. Next episode of this one is going to be prop centre bearing. We are going to be doing tappets again on this one. This is the MX-13. Um, so we're gonna be doing that one. A few other little bits like pollen filter and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's. Uh, I'm just trying to do, it's a day in the life, isn't it? Some, like I say, let me drop down in the comments if you don't mind seeing some stuff that obviously we it do again. If you like this vlog kind of thing or if you want to see more technical stuff or whatever, then please drop a comment and let me know. But I hope you're all enjoying the videos. Obviously, I had a little break. We had a little break over Easter. So 
I am going to be doing my draw this weekend so look out for that it's in the video f further down below but I hope you've enjoyed the video I'll see you again in a couple of days for the next video